When you want to review your work, you can locally publish a recording to generate outputs similar to what end users will see in the learning library on the UPerform server. Publishing a recording through the UPerform client will give you an opportunity to generate HTML, PDF, and possibly Word output files to a local folder on your machine. To publish locally, you can be in the document or simulation view. Go to the file menu and select publish. The publish menu offers two options. The publish current option allows you to publish the file you have open. The batch publish option allows you to publish a folder of you perform files. To publish the current file, select publish current. The publication options provided will vary depending on the template. You can choose to publish one output, multiple outputs, or all outputs. Next, verify or update the outbox path. This folder path will be the location of the publication files once they are generated. If you would like to change the path, click the button with the three dots. Otherwise, Click Publish to start publishing. Once publishing is complete, you will receive a publishing summary window. The window contains shortcut links to the publications. Click on a link to view the publication. Once you complete your review, close the publication. If you need to make changes to the recording, click the OK button to return to the editor and edit the recording as needed. If you close the publishing summary window and want to review the outputs again, you can still get to the outputs without having to republish. If you remember, under the Publish Current menu, there was an Outbox file path. The folder path specified is where you can find the output files. In this example, we need to navigate to the UPerform folder in the Documents folder to locate the output files. In the UPerform folder, there are several recordings and published content folders. In this example, there is a Create New Account folder and a Create New Account single file. The single file is the recording that is currently being edited in the UPerform client. The folder contains the publication output. To review the publication outputs, double click on the folder. In this level, there is a folder for each publication type that was published. To view the job aid, double click the job aid folder. In this level, there is a folder for each format type. To view the PDF output, Double-click the PDF folder. The file to launch to view the output is the index.pdf. If you don't see the PDF extension, look for the Adobe Acrobat document type. To view the HTML output, navigate back one level and double-click the XHTML folder. The file to launch is the index.html. If you don't see the HTML file extension, look for HTML document type. The shortcut links that were in the publishing summary window were shortcuts to these index files. To view the simulation output, navigate back two levels and double click the simulation folder. Double click the HTML folder. The file to launch is the index.htm. If you don't see the HTM file extension, look for the HTML document type. Also, you will find a zip file in this folder. This is a SCORM file that can be given to your learning management system administrator to upload into an LMS for tracking. Check with your UPerform administrator to see if generating the SCORM file is part of your development process. If you need to make additional edits to your recording, 
close the publication outputs, and return to the client editor to make the edits. If you make changes, you can republish your recording again. Otherwise, ensure you check your updated recording into the UPerform server.